Hello everyone, this is Zion. Welcome back to part 7 of Outdoor Retreat. We do have our family back at home and we've got all of our insects and plants into Bobby's inventory so he could work with those. And as far as we could tell, the only new plant we got was Huckleberry. We have identified that. And we also got him a new book so he can work on his herbalism. And just to see kind of how fast he would be gaining that herbalism skill while he's reading. Now identifying fruit has helped him a lot as far as getting his herbalism skill up. He's already at four and a half and all he's really done is identified a few things and I think he made two potions in our first herbalism video. Uh, we do have Isabel over there. She's just playing on the computer. We have all our kids just kind of doing the things they do. Uh, some of them are hungry. Let's get them some food. We don't need to be eat, sleeping this late. And well, I guess we're just going to have some quick meals because we have nothing else to eat at the moment. And... get him uh, some cereal as well. Kids love cereal. And use the bathroom. Alright. And I guess we'll just mu get everybody food at the same time. And she could probably go to bed right after that. But anyways, we do have Bobby's reading. Let's see how fast that skill's going up with his reading. Uh, we do have uh, so we're up to 55% already. And reading goes about as fast as reading with any other skill does. It's it's pretty slow, and I'm not sure if this is the best way to do this. Let's go ahead and make us sadness alleviation lotion. Working and brewing, brewing with things and identifying seems to be the best way to get that skill up. Uh, it goes much quicker, and as you can see, that's going a lot quicker than reading. And we're not really going to need it. Maybe we could just sell it off. Wow, he's already reached level 5 just by making that one. So can we make more? Yes, we can make more. We probably don't want to use all of our elderberries and fireflies. We do want to get more. As far as I know, you can't breed the insects to get more. You have to collect those in order to get those. Uh, but then again, that is just as far as I know. Uh, his herbalism up level 5. What did we gain as far as ability. We got tummy therapy. Uh, I assume that's to fill up, again, the mood of hunger. So between the six different moods, moodlets, we should be able to get most of those with potions once we get herbalism all the way up, if that will ever happen. And where did Bobby go? He's up there using the bathroom. So let's see... Now that we have identified things, if tasting things, we'll still get our herbalism up. Uh, we're at 46%. Let's go ahead, and we have a lot of something. What is it? This one right here. We have a lot of muckleberry. So let's eat some muckleberry. Uh, and it did show the option there to plant. So we're at 46%. That did not help, but it did make him dazed. From eating muckleberry. Wow. Okay. So eating those will change some of your mood. Let's just go ahead and eat the huckleberry and see what that will do to us. That's probably not the best idea to eat these things, but you know, we're doing it anyways. From eating a harvestable. And that didn't seem to do anything to him. Uh, he's going to be dazed from eating. Sure, muckleberry. Sure. What did we just eat? We ate a huckleberry, and that didn't do anything. And our skill's not going up as we eat these. So you just eat them. Once you've identified them, it doesn't help your your herbalism skill at all. So you will have to continue either brewing things or reading the books to get the skill further up and see what other lotions and creams are available for your sims. And let's just check out. We have the one that we made. And let's see what we can sell that for. Uh, where did it go? Oh, here it is. We have two of Sadness Alleviation Lotions. Um, and we can't sell them at all. So apparently they're just things that are going to stick in our inventory for a while. Let's see if we can give them to somebody else, of course. Um, but that's about as far as we can go with that herbalism skill. Uh, so not a whole lot to it, but <clears throat> again, definitely... Focusing on the emotions and the moodlets, as most things in your game do. Uh, pretty much the same as your rewards, but you can make them for free. 
I'm not sure how they last. Let's go ahead and apply. Is there anybody that's sad right now? We have nobody that's sad. You know, and that's sad that we have nobody that's sad. So we can see how that would affect our sim. But I assume it would just get rid of that sad little mood that you got going on. Applying it to a happy sim doesn't seem to do anything. And I wish I had the ingredients in order to make some of these other things. Get our hunger up. But we don't. Where were we at? Right here, brew. And so only thing we can make is that sadness alleviation. We do need some locusts, which I haven't seen. We haven't seen termites yet either. Uh, we, I believe we had, a, no, we didn't have a walking step. We just saw them in the ranger station. Uh, some other things you do need are uh, common ingredients. We have parsley. I think we saw basil right there is basil. And chamomile. I haven't seen chamomile yet. Um, but I do want to eat the noxious elderberry and see how that would affect us do we have any more of those noxious elderberry and i'm not sure if that's going to be a bad idea or not hopefully it doesn't kill us uh, as you can see bobby did age up to an elder if it does kill us you know what he's getting close to the end of his life anyways oh and our kids are going to go off to school and we have not done our homework yet let's let's see what we can do while we're while we're waiting for school no more eating, kids. You got to do your homework. No, nope, no peeing either. All right. So he ate that noxious elderberry, and he is sad because of it, which is great. Um, it's sad to say he's great, but we can use this sadness alleviation potion and see how that works for us. Uh, and it did get rid of that sadness moodlet just like that. So a pretty simple, easy trick, and probably the easiest thing to make. The only thing I've had enough of to make consistently elderberry and fireflies both quite common out in that forest so there are definitely things that we can use to our advantage in the future if we so decide uh, definitely having a garden and having those other ingredients uh, mostly herbs actually almost all herbs except for strawberries so far uh, but those are definitely things that we could use in the future to get our moods the way we want them and just get rid of the negative moodlets that we don't like and also fulfilling our moodlets on our needs uh, pretty much instantly so we can take care of other things. Uh, and of course, as you build your family up, it's not so hard to take care of those things. But that should be it for herbalism for the most part until we get that herbalism skill up. And we will obviously take a look at the rest of those in a future episode. But anyways, I thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a fabulous day.